guy down the hall played guitar, and he knew a bunch of songs to play guitar and sing. I thought that was pretty cool. So I uh, went home for a spring break that year, and uh, my dad was a musician, he was a songwriter, and then uh, showed me a few chords, and I was good. First time I played a chord, I was just, I was just like sparked my interest. I was like, "What makes a chord a chord?" So I just started reading books on it. I thought it'd be cool to maybe just play acoustic guitar because I always played electric, was learning scales and doing all kinds of stuff like that. So then I picked up an acoustic guitar and I thought maybe I'd, I could try to sing. And then uh, thought it'd be cool to go out and just start playing places. I thought that'd be fun, meet people, and. Um, have a good time. I was just waiting tables and then I started doing my gigs here and there while I was waiting tables and then uh, turned into getting having so many gigs that I quit waiting tables and just started doing music full time after a year of uh, you know building up gigs and building my business I guess you could say. Up in the dirt road, jump the bomb, wire, spread the word. Light the bonfire, they call the girls. King and the can and the mob roll man. Jack and Jim were a few good men. We were learning how to kiss and cuss and pie too. Better watch out for the boys in blue and all that small town. He said, she said, in the funny eye room, it's red like I know something y'all don't know. Man, that talk is getting old. You better mind your business, man, watch your mouth. Before I have to knock that loud mouth out, I'm tired of talking, man. Y'all ain't listening to old dirt road. What y'all missing? Chilling all the dirt. And then um, started beatboxing on top of it because I uh, just w really wanted to be able to kind of capture a full sound of a full song by myself and do it in kind of a unique way and incorporate lots of different instruments, my voice, piano, guitar, singing, and it's kind of turned into what it is. So nice. This is so hard for me to do because it's hard to <laughs> ask people. Because you're awesome. Why to tell? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's awkward to ask people why no, you think I'm cool, cool or whatever. But It's awesome. So she's one of my awesome people here. And one of the places I've been playing at the longest it was one of my first gigs. Been doing happy hours here for uh, three three years now. Has it been three? Three years. Wow. So. It's gone quick. Yeah. But we're glad to have you here. Yeah. Always brings a crowd. Always. And I'm happy about that. Yeah, and I'm right. happy about you. Give me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You gotta hold it up there. Mouth too. Yeah. But that's okay. Yeah. It'll still I'm still practicing. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's Ready? all about, practicing. What else do you want to get? Uh, we're gonna go get some more. Everything just kind of keeps growing. I keep growing as a musician. Everything just kind of slowly gets better and better because now I do it so much oh. while I'm working. I'm always still practicing and growing, so it's kind of a good combination from my experience. The one person who I can always depend on to be there is me, because I'm always with myself. <laughs> you got a quick second for a couple sure, words, though? Sure. All right. Words. Is this good? All right, cool. Talking into the mic here. This is the microphone. So this is Bennett. This is the man who brings me back here time and time again. So uh, I guess... Uh, that's right. So we are doing a little video here on uh, Flood Stage and why uh, Dave Conley plays here. Do you have any?